Also Local Food Festival is a festival that focuses on authentically local food. And when we say local, we mean from New England, all the New England states. And it's, we promote healthy local food for all. It's organized by the Sustainable Business Network of Massachusetts, and which is uh, considered the Greater Boston by Local Group. What we do, we had the vision for this, this festival was to actually look for ways to grow the local food system by celebrating the things we were already doing that was great. Because we felt there were a lot of people who didn't know how much great local food was available in Massachusetts. So we wanted to celebrate that. And it's worked. Because the more we celebrate it, the more people want to add more local food to their rest recipes and their, and their, and their uh, uh, food service businesses, the more that people want to start food service businesses. So we started off with probably like 80 vendors the first year, in the say, Nicola. And now we're over 150 vendors all up and down this whole Greenway. Ten years ago, it was 5% of the food eaten in Massachusetts, we came from Massachusetts. We're trying to move that up to 50% by 2060, but we're trying to get it up a percentage every single year. We feel like we're making an impact. It's hard to measure, but we know in terms of businesses, in terms of the way that institutions are purchasing, that there has been a big difference. This is our second year as a sponsor. We've worked with SBN on this and a few other events. Um, and it's a pretty good fit for our mission because we do we are a land conservation organization, but we um, own a few farms, including Appleton Farms, where this cheese is from Chestnut Hill, where our goats over there are from, um, Pulisset Farm in Dover, and what am I forgetting? Ipswich, oh, Weir River, the farm in Hingham. Um, so we're highlighting those, but we also own 55 community gardens in the city of Boston. Um, so that's another way that our mission really ties into food and food access and local food production. Where we wanted to draw people over, so we used all local vegetables and fruits for our veggie prints. Um, and mostly just to have something fun to draw kids over and then we do a lot of family programming so it's nice to be able to engage families about that. We have a, uh, a hydroponic farm in Coolidge Corner, um, just, uh, just right, right in the middle of Coolidge Corner. Um, on, on Pleasant Street, and we grow um, lettuce and kale and arugula and radishes and turnips and basil and mint and dill and several other things, all hydroponically inside repurposed shipper containers that we got from uh, Freight Farms, which is a company in South Boston. We started growing last December, so we started planting seeds just after Christmas. Uh, when most farmers are taking the winter off, we, we start going because we can grow year-round. Uh, so we have local greens all, all year round. So it's our first time here, um, and we opened our store in July. I think it's really important to know where your food's coming from and to really uh, eat as local as you can, uh, to know your farmers, to know who's making your food. Uh, a lot of stuff that gets shipped all over the country and all over the world, and it loses its nutrients. Um, it's so wasteful from an environmental standpoint. It's much more sustainable to be eating locally. The system is um, New England based, really. Um, if we can purchase 50% of our food by 2060, which we um, we are part of that vision and part of that movement, then uh, it would be great to be able to feed ourselves 50% uh, by by that date. So we're we're part of that movement and very much part of our goals. Um, it's good for the environment. It's healthy for the community. It keeps jobs and money circulating in the community by supporting local. So we're local first, and um, this festival is a way of educating the public as well as um, our vendors uh, about the uh, joys of eating local and supporting local businesses.